it on? It is on. <laughs> So I'm going to let this video play and talk over it to provide some super interesting commentary while you watch us hike the mountain. So there's their little can marker thing, uh, hiker safety, very important. And the weather was perfect for hiking. It was just an awesome day to hike because as you can see we have long sleeves on, nice fall day. To start the hike, it was probably in the low 70s or something like that. As we got up to the top and the wind picked up, uh, I think we were putting on maybe a little bit of extra layers, but uh, it was actually a little cold. You'll see when we get to the top, but, but not too bad. Um, so kind of the classic thing of hiking a mountain where it's good to bring layers. The kids, I would say, were not crazy enthused. That's my stupid face. Um, the kids were not super enthused to go and do this hike. Uh, they weren't against it. I think Julie was kind of excited, but um, Kai and Hannah were um, moderate about it. It was kind of like, okay, that's something we're going to go do. But they weren't psyched. But as you see right here, we are just getting into the scrambling, which is the term for... Your first scramble. Four points of contact, getting your hands down on the rocks and um, using your whole body. And scrambling is awesome. And whether you're a kid or an adult, it's super fun to actually get down on the rock and use your whole body to climb up a little bit. Do you want to try up here, Hannah? Yeah. Okay. I got the first like rock thingy. Okay. You got it. Just watching this stuff with the kids climbing. It's awesome. Like So they love that. And Mount Monadoc is perfect for scrambling. Probably one of the reasons so many people do it. Uh, I believe 125,000 hikers roughly annually climb Mount Monadoc per year, making it one of the most popular hiking mountains in the world. Oh, no, you didn't really do it, Daddy. Well, that was a pretty steep section. You guys did great. So I'd done this mountain when I was a kid, and I don't remember a ton about it other than this feeling of, I think we went to like a steep drop-off called Bald Rock. When I was a kid, I remember just looking over, and it was a really long, sharp drop. That was my memory of it. We actually saw signs for Bald Rock, but didn't quite find it. We didn't look super hard either. I was a little nervous being with the kids. Okay. Mom, what's that? Is that a mushroom? Yeah. I did it. it. Mom, can I, I see a blue M&M? <laughs> what? I dare you to eat it. Oh, this is actually finding a um, M&M &M um, <laughs> on the trail. Oh, you know, <laughs> looks pretty good condition. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I'll do it. Oh, no, no. It actually, I think it's a Skittle. I, do not I think eat it's it. a Skittle. <laughs> do not eat it. <laughs> to Julie's chagrin, because she was worried for her brother's health, um, Kyler thought it would be funny to eat it, because he's 12, and um, <laughs> he's excited about this. It's your illness. <laughs> <laughs> Mount Monadnock is, let me look up the actual stats here, I wrote some stats in my phone, 3,165 feet, which makes it a really awesome day hike because I can't remember off the top of my head, but I want to say it only took us like an hour or something to get up. I'll have to check my Strava feed there, but... But yeah, it's a really perfect height in terms of if you're a uh, novice to intermediate hiker, if you can get up there, it doesn't take all that long, have lunch at the top and hike back down. So it's just like a perfect day hike kind of trip. Um, Mount Monadnock is, I think about an hour's drive northwest of Boston, maybe like an hour and 15, hour and 20, but it's really close to Boston. It's not super far from New York, all sorts of other cities in New England. So it's in a cool destination in Southern New Hampshire. Yeah. Queen of the mountain. That is awesome. So pretty. What's your favorite 
favorite part about Monadnock? Scrambling. Scrambling. Oh, my favorite name. <laughs> Monadnock? Yeah, is it fun Monadnock. to say? Yeah, Monadnock. As we're getting into the portion of the views, which were awesome at Mount Monadnock, um, I just looked up Wikipedia real quick to get the height of the mountain and the stat about how many people hike it per year. And on Wikipedia, it listed age of the rock, and it said 400 million years old. I have no idea how geologists figure that stuff out. Keep on going, Dad. They think they're runners. But um, that is pretty awesome, just thinking. I always enjoy that when I'm hiking on mountains, just thinking about how long these physical spaces have been there. I'm on scrambling. It's really fun. I love it. Now put your foot up here and go up. There you go. This is awesome. So I'm doing video, but yeah, that is awesome, huh? That view is killer. This is so cool. So this was probably one of the more technical sections of Monadnock, where I think I'm handing, I'm handing the gimbal camera GoPro setup to Ashley there because I really needed two hands. That was definitely one of the more technical spots, but we all found that really fun. Um, I'd say, in terms of difficulty, kids from probably roughly third, fourth grade, maybe, you know, our girls are in fifth grade, would be pretty comfortable if they're fairly okay with heights in any basic sense. Hold on, baby. We're about a half mile from the top. We've made it to our first cairn. was picking up a little bit there. I think at that point we're looking at, you can see where we're headed to. You can see the summit and you can see little people like ants that are up on top of the summit. Okay. It's like, oh yeah, now they look like sticks. Yeah, that's this. So Wait, can we have a stand? Oh yeah, look at this. Whoa. Kai and I terribly trying to do our little hand thing that we both forgot what the steps were. That's the ugly tree. That did not look graceful. This was a really cool section though where things kind of flattened out a little bit before you start climbing again towards the summit. Very good. The boy in his zen like state cubing. I thought that shot would be kind of fun to pre-plan as I saw him sitting there on that rock face. Rubik's Cube master, who is increasing in speed every day. That was a nice little drop off right there. It's always hard to translate these vi these views on. Oh, there's a snake. But I only saw it really quick before it got onto the rocks, but that's another fun thing about being out there doing these things. You're seeing, seeing mother nature in all its fearsome glory. Scrambling these. Protect your knees a little bit. It's a nice feeling knowing when you're doing these things that when you get home, you can just kind of relax, chill out. You've spent the day exercising. You feel like you've kind of earned your dinner and food. This is a pretty awesome part, huh? Awesome. Love these low gimbal shots with the clouds there. Way to go, Joy. I think we're getting closer to summiting here. Things obviously elevation, steepness picking up. So we hiked the white dot trail on the way up. On the way down, we went with the white cross. Like the little wedge the things, little like wedge. grips. Yeah, I need to get... Getting into seeing some cairns here, 
which are obviously markers that are super useful if the weather is foggy or cloudy or you're caught in a storm to find your way. All right, so here's that signage uh, where we deviated on the way down and took the white cross to mix it up. Hydration pack, great for carrying a lot of water without needing your hands. Look at those old 400 million year old rocks. Awesome. Okay. Oh, good save. Oh, Julia had a little slip there, but recovered nicely. I feel like I'm commentating a game. This is kind of weird. Like, I'd probably be really bad at being a sports commentator. So this is my favorite shot in this video. I am on a parallel section of rock at about the same kind of steepness and walking at a similar pace and it just creates this nice tracking vibe. And I don't know, the combination of the look of the rock and the sky and seeing the family hiking next to me there, like, oh, I just love that section. kind of overcast, partly sunny days are really perfect for shooting Where's video him? footage. Uh, I got a lot of this. We were very lucky on the Traverse where if you get just blinding sunshine, you know, sometimes the contrast is a little tough for the camera to handle. But having cloudiness, you get just obviously much more variation in the skies. So the sky itself looks more interesting and you don't get as harsh sort of shadows or contrast. So we're at the summit, and there's a lot of people there. You can see how popular Mount Monadnock is. Strong climber. We had the kids take a picture. Kai was not psyched. I've been there a million times as a kid, but um, we made it to the top. We're sitting at the top, just had lunch. Awesome hike, kids loved it. It's getting a little cold. I'm not going to film the way down, I don't think. So we'll hopefully see you at the bottom. Bye. Bye. Unless one of us falls off a cliff, and then we'll update you. What are you guys thinking for your booty here today? Oh, I want M&M's. M&M's. <laughs> so we just got to the point where White Cross Trail meets with White Dot Trail, which means we think we only have about a quarter all the way left or a third of the way down to the bottom. So we are almost there. I think everybody's ready to be done at this point, but we had a blast. The way up is always more fun. I would say as a general thing with this whole hike is climbing is so much more fun. I mean, I, I enjoy going down too, but I think particularly for a kid, that feeling of like, oh, we just gotta go back down again now is not nearly as exciting as the way up. But that's part of the deal. Oh, to make it seem like he had a really weird disease? Yeah. Okay, so two Michigan, two Michigan. If we do it again, I would probably do that white dot trail back down because all that scrambling was so fun. It might be a little harder, but I think thus the difficulty may be a little bit more fun. <laughs> How great would that man if I fell? I know there's a whole bunch of other trails in Manadnock too that I definitely want to go back and explore and take some entirely new trails. And, um, it was just an awesome time. Um, this was just a great day. We had so much fun. Just me being a spaz. They were so excited to get near the bottom here that they just started running and it was kind of fun to follow them. And obviously I just love that gimbal shot uh, that you get this smooth running footage even though you're on uneven terrain. And uh, my future little trail runners in the making. Your ultra runner was Western States. After all that hiking, they've still got plenty of energy. You girls are killing it. Yes! You guys did it! Guys did it! Thanks for watching and um, high fives. Thanks for subscribing Woo. for the 18 of you who have, or 19 to date. 
I appreciate it. And leave some comments. If you've hiked this trail, let me know what you thought of it. Tell me some other trails. Uh, let me know what other hikes I should do. What other cool mountains are there in New England? I'd love to know because we're new at this and I'm new at this. Three quarters of a mile. Turn right on to Have a good day. So, to turn this thing off, I always...